Welcome, welcome, welcome to yet another booktube channel, and I mean this in the best possible way. I have all of a sudden some free time on my hands because of this COVID-19 shenanigans. I have been furloughed at work, so I have been um, doing some stuff at home, so just cleaning and trying to stay sane. Got lots of reading to do and an audiobook to work on. So those will keep me occupied for the next month. Um, but I have always wanted to start a booktube channel and it happens to be my 30th birthday. So this is going to be my birthday present to myself. Um, I've always wanted to talk about books, but I have been concerned that I don't have enough something anything with substance to bring to booktube and that makes me nervous because i follow such amazing people like daniel green murphy napier um i my first booktuber that i ever saw was a friend from high school courtney over at courtagonist um and i just i'm not sure what else i can bring i just really want to talk about books and so I, I just want to talk about it. I want to talk about what I'm reading right now. And um, maybe eventually I'll do some other stuff like um, books versus movies, things like that. I do read cozy mysteries. Um, I like to do a video on things that I like to see in cozies and things I don't like to see in cozies. Um, and then just books in general. I read a lot of fantasy. Um, I'll eventually do a booktube newbie tag to go over all of the newbie things. Um, I just finished this week the first book in the Wheel of Time series, The Eye of the World, which was great, but I would love, 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 love to talk about this. And then my current read is the... The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter and it's phenomenal and I am loving it. So yeah, those are my what I'm reading right now. So if you have any advice, any anything you want to see on the channel, um, any questions, I, I do plan on book reviews and that's about what I've got planned so far except maybe the book versus movie type thing. So anyway, I want to open these presents on video because I think it's my dirty 30 and I'll do what I want. <laughs> also, I, the friends and family that have given gifts, I can't open it with them because we are self-isolating and I really want to make it special and mem memorable, memorable. So here goes. This one is from my boyfriend. He says, congrats, you're old. Because he's great with, you know, words and stuff. Um, basically saying, sorry we're stuck in quarantine. Because we planned to have a birthday party. I'm one of those weird people that I don't tell people about my birthday. This is the one off thing. And I, I want to have a birthday party, but I also don't want to be the center of attention. So the one time I decide firmly to have a birthday party, this happened. So, you know. He used a blanket because he couldn't find our tissue paper. I also already kind of saw this when it was delivered. Usually Amazon puts a box inside of a box so you can't tell what's delivered, but they did not this time. It is a shock mount. It is a shock mount for my microphone because when I bought my microphone stand, it came with a shock mount, but it was specifically did not fit the exact, like the one mic that I have. So that was on me. So it's a new shock mount. Okay. 
This one is from a coworker. She is crafty in nature and made me a card. If I can open stuff, it's gonna be loud. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, thank you. I should have brought scissors. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is a, the lights on there, a drawing of our dog. Our dog's name is Sherlock. Um, did you do this, Abby? Like, this is so cute. I, lo I love it. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. <sighs> okay, okay. This one is also from a coworker. I feel super loved by my coworkers. Also, I should have shown this box is super nice, super cute, super fancy. Ooh, this is Buffy related. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, okay. So I love Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It's a bookmark with Mr. Pointy. Mr. Pointy. Oh, I love it. I'm so excited. Okay. It's very tightly in there. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. This is very booktube related. I, so for children's books, I, I don't remember a, re, liking a whole lot of book. I obviously loved reading, but I can't for the life of me recall, um, specific books that I really, really loved and except for Hatchet, which is down here. It's by Gary Paulson. I remember loving this as a kid. Um, I need to reread it. And I have the 30th edition now to reread. Super awesome. I love it. I, I'm i gonna have to add this to my TBR now. So yeah. Let's see if there's any cool artwork in there. So for those who don't know, um, Hatchet is this teenage boy who, um, his parents are divorced and he's going, he takes an airplane and he's going to go visit his mom or his dad. Hold on. He's going to visit his father. Um, and the, the, something happens to the pilot and he, the pilot dies, like has a heart attack or something. I don't quite remember. And the pilot dies. So Brian has to try to land the plane and he makes it, he crashes it into a lake and gets out and it's him surviving in the wilderness. Um, yeah. So, oh my gosh. Okay. I got to look through this real quick. There's like really cool like little artwork of like animals and stuff in here. Um, like this. This is just awesome. More. 
I don't remember all the details of the book and I just remember loving it as a kid. So I need to reread this. This is a gorgeous edition of Hatchet by Gary Paulson. And yeah, and Mr. Pointy from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And then this super awesome drawing of Sherlock. And I should also, um, Dan and I were traveling before all of this happened and we were in Michigan to visit family and his parents took me to the bookstore and just sort of let me run wild. I'll show you which books I got. Because that is part of my birthday too, even though we celebrated like earlier this month. So based on Murphy Napier's review, I got The Rage of Dragons and it was the next book I read. Chosen by Kirsten White, who, um, this is the second book in her series. It's um, based in the Buffy verse. Um, basically, this person, this, the person is the last slayer. Um, second book in the series. Also, a book recommendation from Daniel Green and Murphy Napier, The Blade Itself. It is the first book in the First Law trilogy. It's more of a grim, dark fantasy book by Joe Abercrombie. Abercrombie. Words are hard sometimes, which I, I struggle a lot. Last but not least, I got the small leather-bound editions of um, The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. I have been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting to get these. And yeah, it was the first thing I got grabbed off the shelf. And I think Rage of Dragons was second. And then the other two books I had to settle on. I had to have some shelf control. <laughs> I almost bought a shirt that said that, that I had no self control. No shelf control. But anyway, so I got this. So these were birthday books. And then uh, I obviously Hatchet was a birthday book too. So I know this first video is super awkward and I'm stumbling over my words and I keep looking over here for the camera, but it's over here. And I kept looking over here. So when the camera was down here and now that I switched it, I can't stop looking down there. So I don't know. I promise I'll get less awkward over time. Actually, I can't really promise that, so. Let me know what you guys think. Anything you want me to talk about in book videos or just say, yeah, you're kind of awkward, but it'll get better. So thank you for tuning in and I'll hopefully see you next time.